Check it out, it's dinner time. Check it out, it's dinner time. Check it out, check it out, check it out, it's dinner time. So, so today for dinner, I made a run for the border. The Taco Bell border, that is. I got a big box. Um, it's the uh, double chalupa big box. So if you're not familiar with what exactly is inside this big box, you get a regular crunchy taco. You get a Doritos Locos taco, the uh, nacho cheese. You probably get a different flavor upon request, but I love the, the, the nacho cheese Doritos one. And then you get, I think it's one of those limited time items, the double chalupa. And of course, with a drink, um, I got an iced coffee instead of a soda. You know what I mean? Those iced coffees. Now, full disclosure, Taco Bell is not the place for, for iced coffees. I mean, that should be obvious, but I wanted an iced coffee anyway. Uh, I had to add my own um, Nestle Coffee Mate uh, vanilla creamer to make it taste any good. It, it wasn't horrible. It just, it just, it wasn't good yet. You know, some some other places you get an iced coffee and it's it's good to go already. And others, you know, you got to tweak it a little bit. Anyway, I mean, it's all about the food. And you get all this in this big box for only $5.99. You, can't, you just can't go wrong with fast food. All this food in a drink, soda, if, if that's your choice, for only $5.99. You, that's, you can't deny that that's a good damn deal. And in case you're not familiar with the double chalupa, there's a look. This thing is, this thing is it lives up to its name. I mean, basically, it's, it's two chalupas. Uh, in one large one. Um, so to put into perspective its size, there's there's the regular tacos. There's the double chalupa. That's you know you know me I'm all about that meaty cheesy goodness. That's that's meaty cheesy goodness right there. Um, that's just it's good stuff. I don't know I forget exactly what the what this fried bread is called. Um, for those of you who've never had one of these, but it's it's tasty. I mean, you, you still gotta love a classic taco, harder than a Doritos taco. But this the chalupa is also a special. It's special on its own, uh, and it's it is it is good stuff. There we go, double chalupa. So there you have it. Uh, it is time to get in on this, and then uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. A uh, double chalupa. <laughs> that really hits the spot. <laughs> All right. Now I got some hauls to share with you guys. Um, I got a few things to show. These are all from a few different places. Uh, first up, some from Amazon. Um, got this. It's the Elite Force M1114 Up Armored Humvee. This is um, 118 or 4 inch scale. If you're not familiar with the Elite Force line from BBI or Blue Box. Um, I haven't gotten any um, 4 inch scale, especially military stuff, in, in quite a while. Uh, and largely my, um, my vehicle collection, including um, G.I. Joe, military, Star Wars, pretty much everything vehicle-wise is uh, still back in San Diego at my parents' place, uh, along with a few other things that I just haven't been, uh, wasn't able to bring during the move. So I decided to add this, you know, then I finally have a vehicle to kind of mess with. Um, it looks really cool. I mean, a Humvee is a badass vehicle to begin with, but this, this up-armored one, Holy crap, that thing's badass. Look at that. And it was only like 14, 14 something, 1490 something on Amazon. That's with Prime, free Prime shipping. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Can't wait to crack this open. Um, I want to see how it works with, uh, with some Joes. And next, you saw this in a previous video. Decided to grab this at Walmart. 
you know, for only 11 bucks, how much was it originally? It was like 20, was it like 29 something? So that's less, or more than half off. That's insane, and this thing, this dual mode, dual mode UNSC Warthog. I remember when this was first uh, revealed, however long ago, you know, that was during the time that I wasn't really collecting much, but I saw that and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna want that. But you know, it came out and it's, I couldn't really you know, bring myself to spend 30 bucks on on this, but <laughs> for 11 bucks, shit. Look at this thing. All tricked out, that is, that is just too damn cool. And the uh, the Spartans it comes with are badass too. For, for the price, hell, I'm almost tempted to go back, grab another army build these bad boys. And then, couple shirts from WWE Shop. I think this uh, this might be my first time ever ordering from WWE Shop. All those years, all the years I've been into WWE and even actively watching, I never actually ordered from there. Uh, I got a few WWE shirts over the years, mostly uh, <laughs> from places like Walmart and then discount stores like Factory to You, Fios, Raw, stuff like that. Anyway, it was it was time because if you haven't heard me mention it before. You know, I'm, I'm all about Alexa Bliss. Love Alexa Bliss. I'm... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Anyway, uh, so I got I got the Alexa Bliss shirt, Five Feet of Fury. The, the, just that classic one right there. I like how there's a little authentic sticker right there. Um, so there's that. Um, part of why, though, I pulled the trigger right now and, and not sooner... Um, they had a, they had a sale going on, uh, buy one, get one for only a buck for only a buck. These are $25 shirts. So to get another one for only a dollar. Yeah. You know, um, you, they, they get you with shipping. You know, I'm, I'm used to mostly ordering stuff off of eBay and Amazon almost exclusively, you know, when I order stuff online, uh, and I stick to stuff with free shipping, but you know, what are you going to do? It's the way WWE shot works. And it's the only way to get these, you know, at the right price. So there's that. And then having trouble. There you go. Boom. It's another Alexa bliss shirt with a really cool print. And it's kind of got that, um, I forget what they call it. I don't know if it's distressed or kind of like the, that vintage faded, uh, style to it. Love this one though. I feel like I'm gonna be wearing this one a lot more. It's really, really cool uh, design on that. Um, and then actually for both of these though, I'm gonna cut off the sleeves. <laughs> I know that sounds weird for me just to hear it vocally, but uh, to say it out loud, I'm gonna make them muscle shirts. Yeah, to me it just sounds cheesy to say that, but that's what I'm gonna do. I want them to be sleeveless. You know, I know that you call them muscle shirts, but yeah, I wanna I wanna cut off the sleeves on those. And can't wait to rock those. And then last but not least, just got these in from Amazon. Yeah, these I'm so excited for these. Um, so I've said it, you know it. If you've been following me, you know I, I got crazy, crazy on this crazy kick with Marvel Legends. It's slowed down a little. Um but by no means and you know if you've seen recently uh i've been i've been getting into stuff like sh figure arts more uh and stuff like that but by no means will i will i stop collecting marvel legends and these i gotta say you know you know what to expect with marvel legends you know quality wise and you know you get what you pay for they're they're how do you say they're they're the good figures they're not they're not awesome they're not amazing they're not the best figures out there but for twenty dollars they are really good figures for for the price i'll say this for the price they're the best you know marvel figures in the six inch scale you're gonna get but once in a while they even outdo themselves like with this daredevil and this electra which I have a minor, very, very minor issue with, but 
suffice it to say, these figures are well worth the full retail price. Daredevil, look at just the details. Details are amazing. The likeness is really good. And then Electra, amazing, amazing as well. Now my, I, I have two actually. No, I have two slight issues with her. It could be angles. I'll find out when I crack her open. Might give her the review treatment. And I've seen other people mention it recently. They've called. They've 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 said, Popeye forearms. Again, it could be angles, but it does seem like her forearms are slightly big compared to her slimmer upper arms, which she should be slim. You know, I uh, forget, L what's, the, what's the actress's name? L.A.D. The Young? I forget, I forget her name. But uh, she is very slim. Uh, likeness, she, now, the actual faces look really pretty, but the likeness, I'll say it's not 100%. There's the actress right there. Um, but still, really, really good and, and quite lifelike. Even if it's the, the, the lightness isn't 100%. Now, my, my original minor issue is that they based the figure off her, her earlier look in the season where she's kind of just wearing kind of plain clothes. As opposed to towards the end where you see her in more of like a, um, I don't know what to call it, but like a battle suit, so to speak. You know? So this is kind of like her early look, and it's like, well, you know, it works, and it'll do. But I would have preferred to to have her in more like her um her, her battle suit or combat suit, whatever you want to call it. Um, which you know, to me would be better, you know, as as far as moving forward with with creating stories with the character. But regardless, amazing, amazing figure. Love it. Love love both of these. 